This is the eras of fights. Falling in love. Still sick, so I know I sound horrible. <laughs> Hello, my name is Liz Ashley and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to be talking about lesbian TikTok. I love lesbian TikTok. And if you love this video, please like and subscribe and turn on notifications. Maybe, you know, put a comment or something. Thank you in advance. <laughs> Let me introduce to you the two people who we're going to be talking about today. So we are going to be talking about Fletcher today and some TikTok drama. It's not really drama, but it kind of is. So Fletcher is a singer songwriter and you probably know her from her song called Undrunk. It's like a little undrunk, so I can uncall you six in the morning, I could un It's a good song. But that was her first song to chart on the Billboard's Hot 100s. And it was also number one on Spotify's viral chart in the United States. And the next person we're gonna talk about is Shannon Bev Beverage. It's spelled like beverage. I don't I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. So she's best known as a YouTuber, content creator. She started YouTube in 2012, which is wild. That is such a long time. Her channel is called Now This Is Living. She also created a short film about this LGBTQ couple, which looks really, really cute. It was called Piece of Cake and she was in it and she created it. And she was also in Fletcher's music video called Wasted Youth. And now she has a podcast called X's and O's. All right, so if you haven't gathered already, Shannon and Fletcher were a couple and they actually went out for about four years, which is a very long time. So they were a couple for a while. And in 2020, they broke up, but there's also this, there's this like interview or video of Fletcher talking about how they have broken up but then they actually ended up quarantining together. <laughs> it seems like a really crazy concept to quarantine yourself with your ex. <laughs> Which I think is wild, <laughs> but that's what happened. But they got together after filming that music video, Wasted Youth. A lot of people online kind of figured it out. They're like, oh, they're hanging out a lot. Like, I think they're dating. And so that started happening in 2017. So in 2020, that's when they broke up. And after they broke up in 2020, Fletcher kind of went viral then too. So she actually wrote a song called Becky So Hot. When she released it, Shannon was dating someone named Becky. So of course that also went viral on TikTok because everyone was like, what is happening? <laughs> Fletcher actually did an interview and talked about this song and talked about how she wrote it because she saw this picture of her ex with her new girlfriend and she was wearing this vintage tee that Fletcher had also worn before, that was Shannon's. And she just like outright said it. She was just like, yeah, that's what it was about. And like someone found the picture and like the person tagged in it, his name is Becky. But basically the song is saying like, I can't even be mad, I can't even blame you because Becky's so hot. Like ex's new girlfriend on Instagram and she had posted a photo wearing an old vintage t-shirt of my ex's and it's one that I've worn before as well. He looks hot, like really hot in the t-shirt, like hotter than I have ever looked in it. And so I literally just wanted to write a song that was like, I can't be mad, I get it. And in that same interview, she also said, she was like, I think Becky is just like a word that, you know, the music industry uses. It's just like a, a term that the music industry uses. And I'm like, yeah, but also if you're, <laughs> if she, but like she's actually dating someone named Becky. Like it's more direct for you, you know, maybe not like Beyonce when, cause it wasn't Beyonce the one who's like, Becky with the thong hair. The person, like your ex is actually dating someone named Becky. So like, I think it's a little different. All right, now let's fast forward to 2023. It is the Eras tour and Fletcher and Shannon are both there. And now, if you are not on lesbian TikTok, then you probably don't know this happened, but that is my algorithm, you know now, that is my algorithm, <laughs> you know what I see on TikTok. This is the hug that was like seen around the world. Oh my God, it went viral. So they, everyone knew they were broken up, right? 
and they saw each other at the Ayers tour and you can see them like hugging and it's, it's really cute actually. But the hug is pretty close, you know? I mean, I, I saw one of my exes that <laughs> I was with for a long time, not too long ago actually. And it was like I saw a ghost, really. And uh, no, I didn't hug them, I walked away. <laughs> I walked away. So that's an interesting hug to give someone that you've broken up with. And so everyone was like, oh my gosh, are they gonna get back together? Like, look at that hug, like, oh my gosh. And it was a big deal, like it was a big deal on TikTok. And then Fletcher put out a song called Eras of Us and everyone freaked out. Everyone was like, this is totally totally about Shannon. Like this is about Shannon. Like this is 100% about Shannon because they saw each other at the Eras tour. So everyone's like, it has to be about Shannon because she said the Eras of us. Okay, so Fletcher actually had an interview about this song and she said it, honestly, I love her honesty. I do, because she's just like, this is what I wrote it about, this is what I said, and this is what happened. Everyone on the internet was right. She was like, I saw this ex at the Ayers tour, and I love that she said that. I think that's so funny, because I'm like, every, like she has to know everybody knows who she's talking about. Like, everyone saw that video of you hugging her. We all know you're talking about Shannon. Like, we get it, we know. That was just like so emotional for her that she wrote this song. I was lucky enough to go and see her in concert. I knew it was about this. And I ran into somebody from my past who was a great love of mine. And of course, everyone was like, oh my gosh, this is so sweet. This is such a sweet love song. And everyone, I guess, was like, oh my gosh, they should get back together. Like, they should get back together. Yeah, Shannon, people were like commenting on her videos because she's a content creator. And they were just like, oh, you, you, you guys should get back together. Oh, you guys are so cute. And so in her podcast, X's and O's, she has this like clip that she just came out with like literally the other day. I was dumped. It's so interesting too, because the internet doesn't know the reality of that situation either. And so they're listening, being like, oh my gosh, go get her back. Go get, go get her back. You. I'm like, oh she God. doesn't want me. <laughs> and I was just like, oh crap, I didn't know that. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. But then she had this other clip too of her talking about like kind of teasing like a podcast guest. And she's like, everyone keeps asking me to bring this certain person on. And you know, maybe I will, but it might be awkward. Who do y'all want to see on the podcast? I uh, have seen a few recommendations and everyone's like you're talking about Fletcher like that's who you're talking about and if that's who she's bringing on I'm totally watching that and I'm totally totally gonna do a video about it because that's gonna be an awesome freaking episode uh <laughs> that is the drama what do you think how do you feel about this if you've made it this far comment something comment this cabal that would be really cute thank you for making it this far and thank you for watching and please like and subscribe like i said earlier i've been putting out videos every monday so please stay tuned and turn on post notifications bye